Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new video and uh, first I would just like to say Merry Christmas. I do not know if I'll be posting a video tomorrow on Christmas just because it's a very busy time of year for me, um, but I will try to for sure. So today we're going to be going over what I think are the top five BMX games out as of right now. So yeah, let's get right into it starting at number five. So number five for me is going to have to be uh, Kings of Dirt. Um, it is a mobile game. Um, it is free, and it's 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 really cool. And the things I like about it is it takes like a bit of a different approach at the mobile BMX games, um, because obviously most of you know like the number one uh, BMX game for your phone is Pump BMX, um, and probably Pump BMX Three now. And there always have been those been like the big ones that everyone knows about. But Kings of Dirt takes like a bit of a different approach at a similar concept, I guess. Um, so in Pumpy Mix 3, you kind of just look from the side and stuff, which is cool. But the thing I like about Kings of Dirt is it doesn't just have one view. First of all, you can play first person, which honestly looks amazing. If you could play Pumpy Mix 3 first person, like that would be crazy. But the, the fact that you can play this game in first person and it looks good is just crazy. But when you're not playing in first person, there's kind of like a follow cam. And it kind of like goes from the side, from behind, and like sometimes even in front. And the other thing I really like about uh, Kings of, or King of Dirt is that the actual course itself isn't just a straight path. It, it turns around. Sometimes there's a quarter and you come back and you start going a different way. And it's really cool. And I like how the camera follows you and it, it, it just it just works. And it, it's really fun to play. There's challenges. You can change the uh, whole appearance and, and uh, really customize your character and your bike. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. And, and that's why that's number five. So number four for me um, is going to have to be Free World BMX. Um, I, I really enjoy this game. I've been playing it a, a little bit more than I had uh, on the channel before. Um, it is a mobile game. It is free. Most of the games I will be talking about are free. Um, and I will put a link in the description uh, to all of them and a video on all of the games like where I've played them. Free World BMX, the thing I like about this game, um, I guess more than Kings of Dirt, I, the fact that it's like an open world or it's a park and you you decide where you want to go. You don't already have a set uh, destination or a set path. Uh, those games really appeal to me a lot more. I like being able to choose where I want to go. And I like being able to hit different obstacles from different angles and how I want. Um, so that's why that game appeals to me a little bit more. It's really cool. There's challenges. Um, I like that you have to unlock the tricks. I think that that's kind of cool. It doesn't just give you all the tricks at first. You can kind of go through. I mean, there's not a lot of tricks. It's cool, and it takes a totally different approach to the BMX games um, than really any of the other ones because you don't actually choose when you want to do your tricks. The only time you can really choose what you want to do is if you want to do like a, uh, a 360 or spin or if you want to do a flip. And you can kind of choose like if you want what kind of grinds you want to do depending on how you... Oh my god. Depending on how you want to uh, do your grind. God damn, I am freaking tired and I'm sick. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, Free World BMX, it's really cool. I like that you can upgrade your bike and, and, and your character and the clothes that he wears. And that actually changes how good he is on a bike, which is crazy. And I like that they did that, that you can actually upgrade the stats uh, of your guy and the overall performance of your guy. I think that's cool that they did that. It's kind of similar um, to another game on this list. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. And that's one of the reasons I like the other game too. So coming in at number three is going to have to be BMX Freestyle Extreme 3D. Um, this is a game I like. It is free. It is similar to BMX, uh, Free World. Um, it is open world. You have parks. There's different, uh, modes you can actually play in the park. You can play like a skate mode where it will tell you certain lines to do and you have to do those. And I actually, that, I love doing that. Um, there's just free ride. You can ride around a park. You can even make your own park in that game, which is pretty sick. Um, there's arcade mode. So like a score attack type of thing where you have to try to get the highest score. And, and when you do score attack, you actually earn points. And then once you get enough points, you get rider scale points, and then you can actually increase 
the skill of your rider. I think you can do spin, hop, speed, uh, vertical air. So when he goes off a quarter, a whole bunch of different stuff like that. It's almost like the stats in Dave Mirror BMX. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy uh, that about the game. Fully customizable. Uh, I like customizing the bike. The bike is really cool to customize. You can actually, not only can you change the colors, but you can actually change the way the bike looks. The frame, the handlebars, like you have, um, you can have four piece handlebars or you can have just normal handlebars. Uh, forks, you can make them look like really weird looking forks. I don't know really what to call them. They're not like a BMX fork. It's it's weird. I really like the way you can like link lines together with manuals and stuff like that. Cause some of the other games didn't have manuals, um, but this one does and it's it's quite easy. There's a different couple different ways to control it and I like doing the tilt. You can take it off, and I have tried it without it, um, but I do prefer the tilt because it's easier to, to do the hops and tricks and, and spin at the same time, I find. But yeah, that is why BMX Freestyle Extreme is um, number three for me. So coming in at number two has to be BMX Streets Mobile. Um, this is a game, I'm not going to lie, I kind of shit on it quite a bit when it first, the first couple times I played it, but it grew on me when I got to some more levels and I started doing the challenges. Um, it is a fun game. It is really cool. Um, I've been playing so much of the demo um, on the PC, and they actually have so much in common. Um, the way the guy rides, it's so similar, and I really like it. I like the way that they've really focused on, I think, uh, uh, the bigger part of the BMX community. I think I think this, the whole street rider and stuff has really taken over any sort of uh, park rider or trails rider. I mean, when you ask me who's the first professional BMX rider that comes to your head, I mean, for me, instantly, Garrett Reynolds. And what is he known for? Riding street. Um, and I think if you ask a lot of people that, um, it might be different for a lot of us, like, on the YouTube community, because we all probably watch Scotty Kramer, so he'd probably be the first one you think of, or, like, Harry Maine, or Adam LZ. But Adam LZ, yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of all around, but... I think for most people that aren't really in the whole YouTube scene and, and, and don't watch like Scotty and stuff, I think if you ask them, they're just going to think of the most popular rider. And I think the most popular rider, and I think a lot of people would agree with this, even like professional BMX riders, would be like Stevie Churchill, Garrett Reynolds, Chad Gurley, like all those guys. They're, they're all street riders. They can all ride parks and stuff like that too, but they're known and they focus on street a lot more, which is sick. And I think that these people made a BMX Streets game. Literally, that's what they called it. Because there isn't really anything like that. Like, Pump BMX, besides number three, like, before number three, sure, they added, like, grind stuff to grind and rails and stuff like that. But it's, regardless, it's still a trails game. It's still just doing jumps. And even in number three, it's like that, too. They changed it up a little bit by adding the 180 and stuff i mean even if they didn't add the 180 it would just be like a better looking pump bmx too but since they added the 180 it, it kind of added a whole lot more and 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 that made it a little bit more street but besides that there isn't really a, a game on mobile that is like street riding like it, it is just street riding like even in the other ones there's still quarters and stuff and, and, and it doesn't take it as serious as as this one. And it doesn't do it as good. And that's why I really like this one. Because it's it's, it's a lot different than all the other ones. Um, and I think that game does cost about $6 or so. Canadian, I don't sure what that is. USD, for like 5 probably like 4 or 5 bucks. But yeah, I will leave a link to where I've played that. And yeah. So moving on to number one. I'm sure you guys all know what it is by now. Um, Pump BMX 3. <laughs> yep. I, I, I love Pump BMX 3. I mean... I don't think there's ever been a BMX game that has quite got me excited as Pump BMX 3. Uh, or really, any of the Pump BMX games. Like, with all the other ones that I mentioned, it was kind of like, oh, this is cool, this is neat. Like, I, I like this game, this is definitely fun. But ever since the first Pump BMX, they've been killing it. I remember when the first one came out and it was like, wow, there's absolutely nothing like this. Everything else sucks. And then... It came out, and it was like, wow. And I look at it now, and that game sucks. <laughs> it's like the first BMX, Bump BMX games, it sucks. Like, I can't even believe how excited, like, me and my friends were to play that game. And then number two came out, and that just changed everything because now you could do 360s and do tricks at the same time. 
And honestly, when I saw the first trailer for Pump BMX 3, I thought it was cool. But to me, it just looked like a remastered Pump BMX 2, and they just added the pros to it. Until I saw that they added 180s. And honestly, they literally could have just done a remaster and made the graphics a little bit better in Pump BMX 2 and added 180s, and I totally would have been fine with that. They added 180s, and that, that totally changed everything. It added so much to the game. And I mean, it, Pump BMX 3 is just, it's just a blast to play. And obviously that shows on my channel. Like, if you look at the Pump BMX videos compared to anything, I mean, those videos do the best because that is the game that people want to see and that is the game that people want to play. And I'm sorry, I haven't been playing it much, but my phone it just sucks at recording it and I, I, it just gets frustrating. I'm definitely going to try to do some more. I have been trying to beat it. I have been trying to beat it. I just suck at it. So we're, 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 we'll get there eventually. We'll get them. But yeah, Pump BMX 3, it's just so much fun. And like I said, it's it's always been the the best B BMX game for a phone for me. Um, it, it does cost, oh, it does cost a little bit of money as well. But I will put a link in the description to me playing that. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see maybe top BMX games on the computer or anything like that, definitely let, uh, leave a comment and let me know. If you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Definitely make sure you subscribe. And yeah, peace out, guys.